The Commerce Secretary says these hacking attacks on America, the pipeline and the meat supply, these hacking attacks, she says they're here to stay. What should our response be? Should it be a direct attack on the hackers themselves and their state sponsors by our government? You were in the White House for four years. You must know whether or not that kind of attack, counterattack, is possible. Well, this really started in a big fashion recently during the Biden administration because they don't respect our country anymore and they don't respect our president. And the uh, same thing with uh, you look at what happened with Israel. We have thousands of rockets and missiles being shot at Israel. That would not have happened if I was president. Uh, that's unbelievable that things like that could happen. And China, lack of respect for our country. You see what happened in Alaska. And you see where that's going. Russia surrounds Ukraine with troops. They never did that when I was president. They wouldn't have done it. So it's uh, a phenomenon. We'll call it the Biden phenomena. The, the fact is these hacking attacks are very, very serious, and they're getting incredibly, you know, you look at the number of them. Nobody's ever seen anything like this. Well, that's here to stay, according to the Commerce Secretary. How do we stop it? I mean, the, the Commerce well, the Secretary says, well, the companies should take action. Well, the way you stop it is go back to a much more old-fashioned form of accounting and things. You know, I have a son who's so good with computers. He's a young person, and, I mean, he can make these things sing. And when you put everything on Internet and on all of these machines, you never see a piece of paper. I really think you have to go back to a different form of of uh, accounting, a different form of, of uh, uh, compiling information, because anybody can break in. I mean, I see young people, they, they can't walk without computers. What they can do with them is incredible. I'm witness to it because as a young uh, as a young person, my 15-year-old son is, you know, he's just a genius with this stuff. And and you have you have people that are going to break into systems. I think you have to go back and you have to be much more reliant. There have to be there has to be much better security. And the kind of information they're getting is mind-boggling. But that but that's that takes an awful lot of time. Do you or do you not favor a direct response to the hackers? I mean, shut them down. Shut their computers down. Could we well, do that? Well, you have to hit them very Should hard. I agree that? with that. But you also have to get better equipment on our side because, when, you know, they're getting paid millions of dollars in order not to do what they're doing. Millions and millions of dollars. They hack, they, they, they hack somebody out. They do whatever it is that they're going to do. And they get a $5 million... I don't know how the hell they get paid, by the way, so you're going to have to explain that to me. Well, you have a great business. You're one Bitcoin. of the truly best. So I think you should explain <laughs> but, but, how do they get paid without but, look, getting but, caught. That's interesting also, Well, they get it? paid through Bitcoin. But look, yeah, they, they get paid through beauty. Bitcoin, that's which is supposed beauty. to be we should untraceable. Have the the, so the should we let be the dollar. And Bitcoin, since yes, I left, has Should we regulate Bitcoin? Well, the, the, uh, let me just... My opinion is that with the currency of this world should be the dollar. And I don't think we should have all of uh, the Bitcoins of the world out there. I think they should regulate them very, very high. But the currency should be the dollar. And when you have things like that out there, Stuart, you know, what happens is you really lose something. It takes the edge off of the dollar and the importance of the dollar. Okay. What about uh, Janet Yellen, Treasury 